Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a BoxyCharm review. Um, well, Ipsy, BoxyCharm by Ipsy Review. So I do have the box here. And I do have some products here that we will be reviewing. Okay, so this is the theme for BoxyCharm this month. Um, of course, it's Halloween, it is October. So this is the theme of it. Um, but BoxyCharm, it is $28 a month, I believe, with taxes. I think it's $1.99. So it's going to be about $32 a month after tax. Um, but I know between the first of the month and the third of the month, you do get to choose like a couple products that you want. You do get full, you know, five full size products um, in the month for you to review. Um, so in mine, I did get an eyeliner, and this one is called the hip dot eyeliner so it's a nice little eyeliner here um and it's liquid so this one's like a liquid belt tip type of eyeliner and then i did get a liquid eyeshadow so i did get this here um, so we'll be trying that on here and then i did get a eyeshadow primer that came in my box of charm as well so we'll be using that for some eyeshadow. I didn't get an eyeshadow palette on mine, um, but I do see that it was the Iconic um, palette, and I do have mine from last time, from last year. So we will be using this today. It's the Iconic palette, and I'll show you the colors. These are the colors that came into my BoxyCharm last time. Um, so we'll be using that today. I'll just play with it, being that I didn't get that palette. I think that's because I got it last time. Um, and then I did get this Tula Skincare. Um, this came in my uh, BoxyCharm as well. So I did get the Tula Skincare. Um, this is a sugar scrub. So this is a pumpkin exfoliating sugar, sugar scrub. And then I did get a product. It's a resurfacing serum for your face. Um, it's by Biro New York. Um, so it's a resurfacing serum. Um, so I'll be trying this on another time as well, but this is what it looks like. So, but yeah, that's what I got. And we'll go ahead and try this on. So I'm going to go ahead and use this eyeshadow primer that came into the BoxyCharm. And I'm just gonna put it on my lids. Okay, it's a squeeze tube, so I'm just gonna squeeze it on here. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with my little e.l.f. concealer brush. So I'm just gonna blend in this eyeshadow primer all over the lid. For some reason, I was thinking it was gonna be a wand, but it's a tube, a squeeze out tube. All right, so the eyeshadow primer is on. And then again, I'm gonna go in this with this Iconic palette again. Um, so we're gonna use these colors here. I'm just gonna grab a couple transition uh, shades and then I'll probably put a little pink on because I do have a pink shirt on, of course, as you already know. So we're gonna go ahead and grab a couple uh, transition shades here. So I'm just gonna go in with like these browns here, just a couple browns, brown and a little bit of orange. And I'm just gonna create a look. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm just gonna create something. So, and I gotta use that uh, eyeliner too. See how that does. Okay, so that's just a couple neutral shades. Um, and then I can probably go in with like this little pink over here. You see some pinks here. So I can probably go in with these pinks here and probably put that shimmer on top. So I'm gonna just dip into those and put a little shimmer on top. Okay, so I'm not probably dipping my fingers all up in the shadow, but so I'm just gonna dip into these colors here. Okay. 
I like the eyeshadow primer. It did blend in nice. So I can say that. I do like the eyeshadow primer. I'm just going to dip into these colors here. And I'll probably do a part two for BoxyCharm because I did go ahead and purchase some products here as well. I did get some concealer um, and I got me some powder foundation from Kat Von D. I got a dose of colors, um, concealer cut, concealers, and then I did get a Violet Voss um, eyeshadow palette. Um, whenever you have these choice products with the BoxyCharm, uh, you have the option, they give you like an option to choose products at a discounted price. So I went ahead and got a couple of things. And you can choose a couple items to put in your box too. If you don't like what they're sending, you can also choose what you want and put that in your box. So, so I went ahead and put on those two uh, pink colors here. So I'm going to go ahead and put on the eyeliner and then I'll probably put the shimmer on top. So we'll try that. So with this um, eyeliner, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. tapes. I don't think you can get these anymore unless you get them at like um, Ulta. I think Ulta may sell them or I got mine on Amazon, but these are some e.l.f. eye tapes. I'm not a pro at wing liner, so we're gonna do this together and see how it, you know, see how it does. I don't know if that's even or not, but you know what, we're gonna rock with it. See what happens. So again, I'm gonna take this eyeliner here. I believe it has two sides to it. Let me see. Oh, okay. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if you can see that, but that's like a like a little stamp almost. That's pretty nifty. All right, let's see what happens. I'm just putting it on just the same way that I would put on my regular eyeliner. I like it though, because it's kind of thick. I like it. So let's see if we can do this eye, like this eye. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. I honestly think this one may be a little bit thicker than this one, but I, I like the look. I like the look. Practice makes perfect too. I'm not good with wing liner or using these liquid liners like this. I'm not used to, or like, you know, the marker liner, liquid marker liner. Um, but yeah, I like the look actually. Okay, I like it. All right, so there's that. And you know what? I want to try that. I want to try that stamp, that wing stamp. We're going to try it. I'm going to try that stamp. So I'm going to take these um, tapes off and I'm going to try that stamp. Hopefully, I don't mess up the look. But let's see. Let's experiment. Let's see what would happen if I put this stamp over here. Okay. Okay, I've totally messed that one up. Okay, so I took the wings off just because whenever I did it, I did it too thick. Like I said, I'm not experienced with wings, but what I would prefer to do is actually just use the elf type, the tapes, and then, you know, draw the wing out a little bit. So yes, I did trim them down a little bit, but I still like the look. I like the pen. 
like the pen um, eyeliner. It's really nice. I like that. Um, now for concealer, um, like I said, I did go ahead and purchase um, the Dose of Colors concealers. I do have two shades. They're, it's funny because both of these are dark, but you'll see um, this one here, it's dark um, and it's shade 24. This one here is dark and it's shade 21. So, I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and use these concealers under my eyes. Um, but yeah, this is something that I purchased and I'll do another review because like I said, I did purchase some other stuff, but we'll do that at another time. Um, I'll just put a, like an add on, you know, a continuance of Bar BoxyCharm um, added on products or something. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put the concealer on under my eyes. So while that's sitting, I did notice I forgot to put the shimmer on. I was all excited about the eyeliner and forgot to put on the shimmer. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and put that shimmer on while we let that uh, concealer sit. Let me find me a brush here. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this little brush here and I'm going to dip into it and spray. So again, I'm just going to take this um, Iconic palette. This is called Girl Boss. So I'm just gonna dip this here, just dip into it. I'm gonna spray my brush. All right, and we're just gonna put this on top of the eye. Not on my eyeliner, but I'm just gonna put it on my top of my eye above the eyeliner. I'm just dabbing it in there. And if it gets on top of my eyeliner, that's okay too, so. I'm gonna put a little bit more on there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but put a little bit more on there. So again, I'm just gonna dip in there. I already sprayed my brush one time, so I'm just gonna put this on top because it should still be pretty. All right, so that eye is done. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the next eye. Again, just gonna dip and spray. So I know the BoxyCharm is Halloween based, um, but I just went ahead and did, you know, I always match my makeup with what I'm wearing. So just so happens to be I'm wearing pink, imagine that. So we went ahead and put that on. Now, being that we let the concealer sit in for a couple minutes, we're gonna go ahead and set um, the under eyes um, with the setting powder. All right, so again, we're just gonna, let me get my powder puff ready. Okay, so again, um, we're going to blend out the concealer. And again, what I like to do is I like to take my powder puff and I put my setting powder on there, but I put it on the back of my wrist first so it's not so harsh whenever I'm setting my under eyes. So I'm going to blend this in. And then we're going to set the under eye. All right, the 
first one is set. And just repeat the process for the second one. Look up, bring it out. And immediately set. I'm going to put on my bronzer, my blush, and I'm gonna do my mascara off camera, and then we'll come back and we'll put on that liquid highlight that I did receive in my BoxyCharm, and we'll see how that applies. Okay, so we're gonna go in with this liquid highlighter. Again, it's from the YC collection, and we're gonna put this on. Sorry guys, I'm still practicing with this. We're gonna put this on, and they say to put like three dots on. And it's like a gold color, goldish brown kind of color. So let's see here. Let's try and build it up some more. Let's see. Let's put two more dots on there and see if that does anything there. Let's see here. So I'm just gonna take my highlighter brush here and see what happens. Okay, now it's like sticking to my face. Okay, well it doesn't really show up on me that well. Maybe because of the skin tone, I'm not for sure, but it is pretty. I don't know if you can really see it or not. We'll try with this side. This side is a little bit more light on here. Let's see. Let's see. There's the three dots. You, yeah, you can definitely see on this side. Okay, so let's see here. We'll try it with the sponge. Okay, there we go. So yeah, it's a real pretty color. Very pretty. Okay. So Pretty highlighter, I like it. I guess due to the lighting on this side, but yeah, this shows perfectly. So yeah, it's very pretty, very pretty, very glowy. All right, guys, so that is that. All right, guys, so this is it. This is the review of the BoxyCharm. I hope you enjoyed the try on the impressions, you know, of the BoxyCharm. Um, that's pretty much it, so. Stay tuned, there will be more content loading and I will be continuing getting these boxy charms and reviewing those with you. Until next time, stay blessed.